Okay, I have had the hardest time trying to play this freaking game. In the week, I was meaning to upload everything. My headset died, my mic died, and I'm too scared to play this freaking game. But here we are, part three, for my two viewers. We're gonna play it. Finally. <laughs> okay, play alone. We will continue the story. There is no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Ah, uh, we already did this, didn't we? Ah, uh, I already did this. <laughs> Place must have been a grocery store or something. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna redo everything and then skip it and then we'll be back. Okay, I think this is whereabouts we left off. Where the hell have you Bye. been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? I saw John and Angela. You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John, too? To me, it looked like they were married. I know I can get arrested for bad taste in husbands, but oh, <laughs> damn. Brilliant. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? Do not say another word, Missy. What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Well, we need to look. Let's take a look around. Because that's See what, what we're we going to do find. anyway. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. Hmm. Please don't be a spooky thing. Oh, it's so dark. I hate this. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. Oh, there's not going to be a working phone, you Nellies. Bloody hell. That, there's going to be like a rat in there. What was that? <laughs> I don't understand. God damn it. Um, to the blinds. Anything over here? What about over here? Okay, fine, we'll look in the kitchen. Cooking some bacon. Oh man, this is too spooked. Okay, nothing here. Was there something there? Okay, I just see things, honestly. What about over here? Ooh, a flat. Ah, so the witch trials were here. Real nice. Well, the imprisoned ones. Ah, my bad. Um, did I check that? We're just going here. Fuck it. Okay, we're not opening those doors yet. We're gonna have a look around a little bit more. I'm very annoying. 
And I like to click on every little thing. Keep looking. Ooh, she dusty. Interesting. What is in here? A phone? Dun dun dun. Oh, a radio. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Absolutely not. Um, anything down here? Nope. I, w I wouldn't say we've checked everywhere, but like... I think we're pretty much good. Yeah, okay. Let's not back this way. This way! Please move your ass this way. Here we go, ready for the jump scare. Oh. You have to look for a key. Well, that's my plan out the window. Um, Mister, we are trapped. gonna jump out of me in a minute but it hasn't in a while okay I'm so gonna have to skip into things oh wait oh my god no no <laughs> gonna be some I don't, I don't know oh mom oh shit we are can I go in here oh my god oh Oh no, this is too scary. Okay. Fine, we're going in the cell. We're going in the cell. Don't do this normally, but we're going in the cell. Oh my god. I've lost everything. I need to stop covering my face for every little thing. That's really sad. really sad. But she's free now. There's got to be something. I hope so. Ah, oh, the telephone! We have a winner. Found a phone. Oh, there's going to be a jump scare now, isn't it? This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! That's a bad Whoa. idea. That's a bad hey. idea. Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Whoa! Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. For oh, fuck's sake, I'm so fed up of looking around. Oh, 
Let's look for some cables. What is that? I'm actually gonna what do you think? <laughs> Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Pick up the phone, let's be honest. I hate this Hello? So <laughs> Who is this? Oh no, what is it looking at? Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Oh, Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court. And, good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. Oh, that's The creepy. devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We'll say nothing. I mean no offence, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbours. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Um, let's approach the creepy kid. Or maybe not. I beg you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. Among us, they are here. Among us, no, 
What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect oh, yourself. Seek out the Lord. Cheeky little dickhead. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Yeah. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. Mm -hmm. What the hell does all this mean? Um, Who's that? Hey, Professor! Up. You in there? Come on. Let's go. I mean, I don't want to open the door, to be quite honest. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! Trust. We can't open the damn doors! Uh, we can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle! In three, oh, two, man, it's so one! Oh, it is. No. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, John? What's bugging you? We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh... We've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? I think we're meant to keep them all alive on the... We've already been down those paths. Ever. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. The execution the site! No? I want to I, I wanna go to the execution site. This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Probably. Wow, the road looks really pretty. I'm, I'm not gonna lie for a video game. Like, the graphics on it is so good. Okay. On the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. This fog is getting worse. Oh uh, no, that means the little witchy woo's coming back. I hate that they had to put her in there. 
Because I'm scared of her. Oh, it's this bit again, isn't it? Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. Am I having we were never meant to make it out of here. We're crossing back over, right? It's a pole. I can't see for shit. Anywhere near it. <laughs> I feel you, man. Okay. Who's first up? <sighs> Professor? Not you keep telling me. us you're in charge, so. Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. That seems fair, though. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. You lead. I'll be right behind you. Ah, uh, well... This is how I kill them all, basically. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No, oh, Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? Why, oh, shit. why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he comfort oh, us all. Little hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In little hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. Be your very face. Isaac. Uh, she's a 
What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? Uh, I need man. a moment. Yeah, she's gonna. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. I think she should hide. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. Given the way in which the stakes have been elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now, mm -hmm. don't you think? A telephone. You really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. Too late now. Oh, shit. The boys have some interesting theories. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Oh. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out. Shapeshifters. Hmm? Ooh. I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? Yes. <laughs> Okay, then. 
we will once again turn to the Bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Ooh. Act five, scene one, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Don't fucking understand that. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Thanks, man. We will be back for part four. Probably, hopefully, 